Hey, it's me, Jimmy D, and welcome to our final season error review, and we're on episode four, and it was a fantastic episode. Um, I'm here with Cody. What were your thoughts? I love this episode. Um, if you want low-key, out of everything we've reviewed so far this week, this is probably my favorite. It, it was my favorite as well. Um, just the dynamics of the kids being there with their parents and their and just all the different conversations the character development everything about it just was wholesome and just a overall great storytelling it feels like a finale it does it feels like things are wrapping up and getting better and honestly like i haven't really cared about the future stuff like at all ever since it started um but having the kids in present day makes especially the daughter makes me really like their characters now um yeah. ma mainly because they're getting to interact with the characters we have known for so long no no it makes sense um it has this really good era of mystery around it mm -hmm. of you still don't know why they're here you don't know yeah. what's really happened you know it, it wraps up the whole Deathstroke stuff for season six. Yes. You know. I mean. That's why I said it feels like more finale. It does. It really does. Um, and it just, it's constantly, the thing about Arrow, it's constantly, each episode is building up and building up and building up. And you know something big is coming. And that's great. Um <laughs> So if I have one complaint about this, okay, it, it, it's a very it's a very minor complaint, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. um, because the more he shows up, like the more convoluted the stuff he keeps asking for, yeah. When they eventually do get to his plan, <laughs> I, I want to see like a chart a chart board kind of filled out, <laughs> okay. No, the monitor you know, appearing at the end, like, first of all, I was confused, because I was like, why yeah. the fuck is the monitor showing up here um, with, with uh, the canary? And, like, so now you have to betray Oliver Queen. I'm so confused, because, like, Oliver had to die, and he had to do tasks for the monitor in order to... Um, like, like, this I don't understand. Like, you want to betray Oliver Queen, but... <laughs> My biggest problem with the monitor stuff is that the show is building up that there's only one way, yeah, to 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 kind of like fix crisis, yeah. Which, if anybody just has a common lick of sense when it comes to crisis, it's you're you're combining a multitude of Earths, so there's obviously going to be maybe not hundreds, but at least a couple of other possibilities of how to fix this. But also, like, he promised to fix her Earth. I'm really confused if, by but that. But if Crisis goes through, her Earth is going to get saved anyway. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be crammed with this Earth. Yeah, like, it's going to likely. reappear, but then get crammed with everything. Um. Well, the thing is, in Crisis, the comics, five, out of the multiverse, only five Earths survived. And they got crammed together, um, so and we thought I, I honestly think Earth Two was going to be one of those, but because it was, it's already gone. Um, I it's mean, just, I, it's just it's just another moment of like, I need you to betray Oliver Queen. And you know, she's not going to do it. Yeah. So it's like it's just it's pointless. It's just needless drama that doesn't need to be there. Yeah. Um, I do have to say the daughter being with Oliver. And how that interaction goes. I'm like, yeah, I can see Oliver in her a lot now when yeah. they're together. I didn't really see Oliver in her character when she was in the future. But now that she's present day, I can, yeah, I'm can. i picking up on the, the Oliver stuff. Um, and I don't, it works. I don't know if that's because she gets to actually act with Stephen Amell. And um, therefore picked up on some of his stuff. Um, or what... I would assume so. Yeah, I, I would assume so too. I can't wait for next week because they're in basically a cage match uh, with each other. I think it's the following week. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. 
Um, yeah, because they're like they they both flash, which is like the nineteenth. Yeah. So. But the next episode, I mean, um, what would you rate this episode? The thing they get to wrap up the Russia storyline. Yes. How would you rate it? Uh, nine. Yeah, I'm going to give this a nine and a half. It was a fantastic episode. Um, yeah, like the only thing that's really bothering me now for being a ten is the monitor stuff at the end. Yeah, the monitor pulled it back a little bit, and um, but overall, I think it, it's been one of the best episodes of Arrow in a long, long time. Um, but we want to know your thoughts on the episode in the comments below. So let us know. And like always, we will see you in the next one. Later.